He's the one who will go down with you and he will go up with you. He is the only one, the very one, he will hear the voice while you're in that place, in that low place. I stay, um, I think they said um, eight days and in, in the coma and I wake up after eight days and I could not do anything. I could, I was like, I was like a zombie. I didn't have anything, I couldn't speak and all of my friends were saying, Lord, if she's going to stay the same way like this, better you take her home. And they prayed up. They all bring her as she used to be or let her go home to be with you because it's no use for her to come the way she is, you know? And I was so just, I am not saying anything like it just, uh, something is wrong with my face. My face is somewhere else, my eyes are somewhere else. And I wasn't saying anything, just like a vegetable, you know, nothing. So the next day, again, I was deteriorating. I was going down again. So they put me back to the coma again. And that time I met the Lord. The Lord came to me. There was a sign, actually worship sign. He is in the room and I was, I could hear my spirit, I can hear it. He is in the room, Jesus is in the room. There was a lady, I think her name is Fash, or oh, she was singing it and I was listening. But Jesus came in the room where I was and he breathed on me and I saw him face to face and I said, Yeshua, I said to him. And he gave me life, my life back and I woke up and everybody thought, what is going on with her? Because I was never the same when I went the second time. And when I come back, I'm the same way I used to be before. So the Lord touched my lips. He wiped my lips and he said, it's not very long left. I am. Because Jesus, excuse me, yeah. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, humble yourself and repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus, he heals. He still heals today. He still raised the dead. I do believe I was finally to go home with him, to be with him. But I, I wasn't finished yet. His work in my life was not finished yet. He has things to do that I have to do what he promised. You see, God is a, the one who keeps his promise. We break our promise, but God keeps his promise. If God says something to you, keep that and keep challenging him in his word because he will do what he says. Because Jesus said, he came to me, he breathed on me, and he said he's not long left. When I said not long left, I know when he said that, I know he's coming soon. He's coming soon.